Hi, good morning everyone. Thank morning. you for being here. Um, thank you One Million Cups for allowing me to present today. My name is Alina Quitt and I'm presenting the Military Diamond Connection. The purpose of my business is to provide quality diamond jewellery. I have a little call, but I'll try. Um, the purpose of my business is to, uh, is to provide quality diamond jewellery at significantly lower prices than are out there currently in the market. Our primary target audience is military service men, women, their friends, family, and veterans. We leverage our relationships in the diamond business to help soldiers get the best value for money when purchasing something so special. This all started when my husband was looking, was starting to think about proposing to me. He started hunting and looking at and investigating about diamonds and found that there was no one really catering to him, a serviceman. And if, if somebody offered a discount, it was a small discount. So he continued digging and networking and found that with only three degrees of separation, he had a friend in the diamond business. So we went to New York City, the diamond district, and what we discovered was that everything you see in the movies is true. We were lucky enough to find a wholesaler who actually sells to retailers across the country. And this was by chance. We ended up buying my diamond then and there um, at a significantly lower cost than we would have if we went to a retail store. Soon after, we realized that we had an opportunity that we could both make a business <coughs> and help soldiers get a better quality diamond for less money. There is no magic or gimmick to what we are doing. We are essentially the middleman and the customer's personal shopper. We hunt the industry with this particular wholesaler and other wholesalers to find the best quality diamond we can for our customers' budget and specifications. We end up finding um, products anywhere from 10 to 50% less than what they can find in the market currently. However, more often than not, we are able to find a better product than they would buy in a retail store. We offer custom jewelry, solitaires, and other classic pieces. And everything that we sell is custom made to order. We are able to keep our costs lower because we don't have a, a, a brick and mortar store, we don't have employees, and we don't hold any inventory. So there's no huge overhead costs. You might ask what I mean by better quality diamond, and let me just show. Unfortunately, it's not such good quality down here, so you can't really see. But diamonds are graded on four Cs. They're carrot, cut, color, and clarity. And as you go up and down on the spectrum of these, you get a better or worse diamond and a different value. So when a customer gives us a range of what they're interested in, we go out, look at the varying <coughs> options of the four Cs to try and find the best product we can for them with the inventory that we have access to. You might also wonder how you know you're getting what people say that you're getting. Um, and that's where diamond certificates come in. We use the Gemological Institute of America, and that's kind of the gold standard across the world. Um, and when we are selling our engagement rings, more specifically, we prefer to sell these certified diamonds because it gives the customer reassurance that they're getting a quality product and it is what we say it is. Uh, and they have kind of a proof of certificate and paper to keep with them at all times and for insurance purposes and everything else. Sorry. But at the end of the day, it's up to the customer if they want the certified diamond or the uncertified diamond. And there's a little bit of a price difference in that and that's, that's why we offer both. Um, I'm here today seeking feedback on how to help potential customers feel comfortable buying from us and how we, can how we can get our name out there. We ultimately want to be, become the place where all military personnel come to buy their diamonds because every, every member deserves a true friend in the diamond business. Thank you. Yes. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. I have a question. I'm, yep. I'm 
diamonds is not my field of expertise. Sure. So what's the difference between certified and non-certified diamond interest broker? So it, it means basically that there is an external agency that, that checks, looks at all the characteristics of, of the diamond and they, they put all of its criteria on a document and they say this is what it is because uncertified ones often if you, if you go to a, a retailer it can be one step away from what they say it is without them being sued. So if they say, for example, the color is an I, it could be a little less J. And if they say the clarity is a VS1, it could be a VS2. Um, and each person may be able to, to say, see it as something different. So th these certification companies kind of have a standard and, and guarantee what they say it is. Yes, exactly. It's better than a Carfax on the used car. <laughs> Understood. Thank you. <laughs> what if you're not in the military? Can you still buy diamonds from you? You can. Um, we said uh, it's friends as well of the military. So if you're a friend of the military, we will be willing to sell to you. Did you see a loose diamond or make it jewelry too? Both. Um, so sometimes people already have a diamond because it's an er a family heirloom and we can, we can make the, the ring for them. Um, recently we just did that and the, the guy um, went out to the store and what he saw and what we were able to provide for him was 750% less than what he saw in the store. Um, and sometimes people have a setting already but want to find the diamond. But that hasn't happened as often as someone already owning the diamond. Um, I only plants. Uh, I'm going to use I'm new here as sure. an excuse while I can. Uh, uh -huh. But I didn't see uh, any testimonials. And you were saying that you felt your problem was that you just need people to be comfortable with you. Okay, I, I didn't look enough. Yeah, no, you're My fine. It's, oh, not now. Um, yeah, it's only connected to our Facebook page. It's not connected to the website. Uh, and for some reason... Oh, you can only see f a few of them. I don't know if, if they're so old you can't see them. Um, everyone that we have serviced so far have been very happy with what we have done and often have referred multiple people, which is very nice. But being able to kind of sell to someone that we don't know, that hasn't been something that we have done so successfully yet. So kind of expanding outside the network of uh, referring, but referring is the best because you're coming with a good reference, I guess. <laughs> um, but kind of expanding beyond that is something that we're struggling with. How long have you been in business? So we've been in business for about two years. It was the idea kind of came a few months after we we got engaged, but we didn't start it or even ask the wholesaler until a little later on. Um, and then we moved to El El Paso, Texas, and we by chance with another wholesaler um, and he provides more of the jewelry side of things rather than the loose diamonds and then when we moved back to Fort Bragg and I wasn't working I thought I would try and kind of work on this a little bit more and see if I can really make something of it because it really is a great opportunity and a win-win situation for us and the, and the individuals we're selling to. Do you have a Facebook presence? We do, I tried a few Facebook campaigns um, and we got some likes, but it's, it's not a product that you can kind of just buy on the whim. It's something that you have to really think about and research before you buy it. So I think that's also part of it. And because we don't have the brick and mortar store, it's, it, that is the challenge I, I personally think and I don't know if... Um, have you tried um, Etsy? No, so actually, that's you might a good want idea. to try Etsy. Okay. Um, since you don't have a brick and mortar, it's really a great avenue. Okay. And um, you might even ask your wonderful clients, who are very happy, to maybe even make a little selfie video talking about it, showing it, and okay. being that's as nice as idea. delighted as they could possibly be, and thanking you all, and then posting it on their Facebook page or uh, oh, linking you. it. Uh, you know that way. Okay, that's Social very media good idea. is the way to go. Thank you. Um, I want to add on to what you just said. 
if you could get these folks to capture a special moment like a proposal or something, that is big on people's so viewing. Cool. They want, they're a sucker for wanting to see the happy moments. Mm -hmm. So if they post a video of proposing that and it has your product in it, that's going to help you because it's going to add the personal emotional touch. Okay. But my question also is, um, what are you doing to market your business? Um, so just coming off the tail end of, of a Facebook campaign, and it's really, um, again, my husband's in the, in, the, in the army, so when he speaks to soldiers or whatever, he, he tells them that we have a side business if they're interested, especially if they're dating somebody. Uh, but really, unfortunately, that's it. Um, yeah, sorry, go ahead. You mentioned uh, that you have a Facebook presence and you've done a little bit of campaign work there, uh, and a lot of that is a voluntary connection. Mm -hmm. But there are other social media that uh, might be beneficial as well. For instance, uh, the use of Twitter, where you develop certain hashtags, and the hashtags are the things that bring people to the site okay. uh, right. to see your message. The other thing is YouTube. Again, these ideas of uh, yeah. maybe videoing um, a, a proposal or some other happy event. YouTube is posting over a billion. Right. Um, posts a day. You still have to be careful about how you market on YouTube if you want to get your target market. Right. But, um, but those are avenues that, uh, that you may want to consider uh, beyond Facebook. Okay. And actually, those of you that mentioned the videos, do you also think that kind of a picture of the special moment would work just as well? Because we've had a couple of our customers send us and the picture of the moment and thanking us that she was super happy. That would yeah, be just as good. In the right right. Direction. Yeah. Be sure, sure to get a release if you're going to use it. Yes. <laughs> and if you if you do ask or if people are willing to do a video for you even after the fact, if if they want to after the big moment, you know, make sure it's really short, like two minutes or less. Less <clears throat> less than two minutes is really good. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, um, so there's we have a lot of three different things. One is uh, people mentioned different social media sites. A lot of people actually plan their weddings on Pinterest. Mm -hmm. Like they'll sort of plan the whole wedding. Yeah. And we actually we tell men that they're not sure what their girlfriend wants. So like, does she have a Pinterest page? Have a look what she's put. She's yeah. tagging on there, and that's an um, indication. Okay. I know there's also quite a few groups, um, uh, networking groups and uh, business groups in town for military wives and businesses they own. You can try getting into that because then there will be other business people, they'll be able to spread it to other military families. There's also um, wedding expos. Mm -hmm. The price of boots is quite expensive, but you're in front of a whole lot of people, you're in front of uh, other people who are in the wedding industry, if they like you, they recommend you to anyone. They're serving as well. Okay. So that would be one way to just look and get things out. Okay. Do you offer payment plans? So that's unfortunately something we don't and um, someone had asked me about that yesterday. We, that was, and that was the first time. Our main reason at the moment not to is that we're trying to keep it as a simple model as possible. And if we're adding on that risk, then we're concerned if we may have to increase the prices elsewhere just to, to mitigate that risk potentially. Um, but because there's such a high cost product, it is something that we need to explore a little bit more. So maybe you could work it in a way where if this is the upfront price and if you <coughs> finance that it, it's added into the financing cost. Yeah and also maybe a, I think it's called a layover where the individual pays. A layaway. Your layaway, yeah, thank you. And, but I don't know if people would be comfortable with that because people kind of want the product first rather than. So how does your pricing model strategy work. So I have a $5,000 to put towards a ring. Okay. Take me through the process. Great. So we would ask you what kind of, if you've, you've gone into the market and looked what you see, what kind of cut you would like. So let's say you want a round, a round diamond. Um, we would go to the whole <coughs> around and as big as you want, because big is always better, right? Um, but so <laughs> we would go and look at we would ask for the, their current inventory because it's always changing. We would first look at a carrot, if you say a carrot. So we'll see what kind of carrot we could find, how good. And normally with a $5,000 budget, we can 
and it, it, just a carrot like for like, <coughs> nine times out of ten we could probably find one for a thousand dollars less. Um, for sure, non-certified, certified diamonds, maybe a little bit more, and then we would we would tell you what we find, and then if you if you wanted to spend the five thousand dollars, we could we would then look to see what diamond we could find bigger, closer to that budget. Um, so we start with kind of the size you're wanting to look at, uh, and how that fits your budget, and then if you want if you want to stick to that budget, we would max out the budget um, and find the best one we can find for that money, or if it's the size that you want, we'll look for the best size that we can find, or we could find you a better, nicer diamond for the $5,000 for the one carat. Um, we just play around with the different options and then let you decide what you want. Back to the financing part of it, I know in our business we, we require a non-refundable deposit and then final payment at the time of, of the finished product. Okay. So you may want to consider the options there. Okay. So, yeah, so we can normally turn, as long as it's not kind of peak season, Valentine's and Christmas, mm -hmm. it's about a week turn, turnaround time. Wow, I know I was reading that uh, right there. That's amazing that it's a one week turnaround. Yeah. What happens if someone, if it's not exactly right? Has that happened with you? Yes, yeah, so the sizing is the, is the hardest the hardest part, um, and if the conversation has been had with their significant other, then they can ask them what size do they do you wear. Um, but if not, then there's a standard size, but it may need to get refitted after the fact. And we can offer to do that. Um, that would be a, a, an extra cost after the fact because because it's custom made. Um, or they could go to any re retail store and, and do it there as well. Nice. Yes? Um, I have a question. Um, are you, do you market yourself as a, um, a service or a product? And um, because you're looking for different products, so it seems like, you know, when she was saying, well, you can show a picture with your product, but it's not really the product you're selling, it's the service, isn't it? So it's, it's both, I guess. Um, the product, it primarily was engagement rings, um, and that's our, our, our main <coughs> focus. Uh, and then it is the service as well, trying to offer the best service, educate the customers so they also know what they're getting and, and what we're doing exactly to kind of help them get a better deal. Um, so it, it's both. Because I think that the, um, if you're looking towards mainly service, members the service is very important because they don't always have time for that yeah and we actually meet people on the base right yeah and the other question i had was um are you also marketing for not just diamonds but diamonds are for all occasions i mean there's <laughs> there if you restrict it to just weddings then you're restricting yourself right i mean there's mother's day there's i mean even father's day and there's <laughs> birthstone and yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, and that's, I that's, that's, right. <laughs> that's a good one. Um, yeah, so uh, so we do do diamond jewelry. Um, let me go back to the website, and we have a few of the classic pieces on the website. You can click the X and close that little box. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Uh, um, so these are the classic pieces that we offer, and they start from smaller and you can go into bigger sizes and then we can also make custom pieces we have a number of jewelry wholesalers that we work with so if someone saw something that they liked um, they can either send us what they saw and say do you have something similar or we can refer them to their websites and they can scroll through and then we can build it out from those websites so are you coming to each individual home or are you are we strictly communicate through you know, text messages or, or Skype or whatever? Do we have a meeting place? Because I really, if I give you $5,000, I really want to see what you got in store for me. Yes, so um, we've done all of the above. Okay. Uh, we've sold diamonds to people that aren't just at Fort Bragg, so that is more of an over the phone. We've taken a couple pictures. Um, and then we, we meet in person so far it's been on the base um, 
and we can discuss the specs and we have brought in some diamonds and shown people and then we send it back straight away because we don't want to hold that inventory. Um, and if it's, if it's one that they want to pick, then we, we allocate that and say that's the one we want. Um, otherwise, you can take kind of, it, it's a pretty trusting business um, from what we have counted, especially with our suppliers, but being a consumer, it's, it's a little bit of a different relationship. But we, we can do all of the above. We can be on the phone for as often as the customer feels and as we're kind of going back and forth of the specs as well. Um, so it takes a little while to get to the end product, but once a decision, made, a decision is made, it's a pretty quick turnaround time. Yeah, sorry, Cynthia. Sorry, I have two points um, to take back on something Sorry, said. First of all, uh, when she's talking about the service, mm -hmm. um, one of the things that you're doing that's a little bit different than some others is you're allowing people to customize or make something that's unique for them or special for them. I think you need to highlight that as part of your business, okay. that I can come to you and get something for my loved one Just that is truly unique. Just as the woman you love. <laughs> <laughs> and, and people like to know that right. not everybody's going to walk around with the same thing that I have on, you know? Right. That something is special and unique to me. So I think you need to highlight that. I want to go back to what Jessica said about Pinterest. Uh, being a Pinterest fanatic, um, we all <laughs> have our to come boards to you. <laughs> and we like to, to have, pin our things that we love to keep them so we can come back and look at them. In addition to the emotional photos and things on it, I think you should also do some education about uh, maybe create a series of different posts where you talk about different cuts or something. And so a, a person good. scrolling through there saying, oh, I really like that, that's unique, whatever, and they'll pin it to their board and keep it, but it also keeps your name out there. It tells them I have a variety of different things. So people don't always go for just the emotional thing. They're also, if one day I want to buy some jewelry or I want to get married and have somebody buy something, I want to pick what I want. You know, women tend to like to do that. <laughs> we like to tell them what we want. Um, but that way they have an idea and you're educating at the same time, but you're also getting your name out and they know that that's available from you. Thank you. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. And I would also um, scroll up to the top of your, there you go. When, when you begin to do your social media, put Pinterest, put the logos up there so that they can click on those logos mm -hmm. and go to your Facebook, go to Pinterest, go to Instagram, where, whatever you're doing, mm -hmm. uh, wherever you are communicating, even YouTube, Twitter, that kind of thing. Yeah, put those little things. I have a Facebook link at the bottom, but you're right, it should be at the top it should of the be page. At the top. Yeah, because I always look at the top. Okay. And top that's where all your. Both. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. Probably I thought true. that might be unnecessary, but you're right. You don't know where people end up on the page, so it's better to... And, and also, a lot of the pictures that Cindy was talking about, a lot of your pictures, people want to see pictures. They, they get their ideas from pictures, mm -hmm. and they may say, and, and you might want to do color. Um, this is your home page? No. This, this is, is your shop page. Yeah. Still, um, on your shop page, I love I love the images that you have there. I think they're just really great. I love that love. And um, but on your shop page, you may want to put more color pictures okay. that are really attractive and pop and draw that person in. I'm going to go look okay. at what else you've got, and so they'll click on that that link. There's a reason why jewelers always put when they bring it out and show it to you. They always put it on a black or uh, dark blue velvet mm -hmm. or burgundy yeah. surface, right. and that kind of disappears in the white background. Thank you. So, <laughs> yeah, first. <laughs> so being on post, and, and I'm, I'm thinking more towards marketing because it sounds like you've got somewhat of a hold on, on how to get from, okay, now I've got a customer, I've got somebody I'm working with, what do I do then? It, what I'm seeing is, is more of a need is how do I get that customer to me? One of the advantages you have in, um, being a military spouse is um, the family readiness group. Mm -hmm. And if there's any way you can um, leverage that FRG and be able to, um, at maybe a family fun day, sponsor a tent that has balloons that just gets your name out and the kids get a balloon, and you know, a, a, a small tank of helium at Walmart is going to cost you 20, 30 bucks, mm -hmm. the balloons. But something 
logoed with your name on it, the Military Diamond Connection, something, oh, you do that? Well, okay, because especially if that is your target market, you're gonna wanna try to start there and, and of course, it continue to expand out. So it, when you sell t-shirts or when, you, when your product is something smaller, you can do a free giveaway or a raffle or something like that. And your challenge is you're not gonna free give away a diamond. <laughs> you know, it's, that's the great name gathering tool is to do a, a raffle or something, but you're at a point where you, you can't do that because of the type of service and product that you offer. So getting your name out there in some way with um, a balloon, a stop by our tent for free water, or something, you know, there's Rocket Fizz does the soda pop bottles that you can customize that have your name on the soda pop. Um, water companies will do things where you can get your name on the labels on the water. Um, so maybe even the math and something that they have going on in the base. Right, right. So, so being able to reach out to some of the different FRG groups and, and, and get that name out. And um, one of the things that, that I, I learned early is the more that I beat the street, the more people I get in front of, the more chances that I'm going to have to actually do business. Um, what do you have as far as like a marketing team? Do you do your own website? Do you have somebody or have you taken any kind of classes or anything on social media marketing? Because um, one of the things that I've learned in here when Candy was talking is just to have a Facebook ad to a sponsored ad is nice, but there's so many dynamics to how you can structure those and the target audiences that um, I learned I'm not near as Facebook smart as I thought I was. <laughs> um, so finding a team or at least some of the classes at the university that are going to help you with these are steps for marketing, these are places, these are, you know, and, and there are web page builders, there are folks that do marketing out there that are starting out their own business too, and they don't charge huge amounts like large firms. I believe, I know I've heard over and over, internship, interim, I don't yes. know if that's something Interns. that at some point, I, because that's the side of, of I'm not positive. We but use interns. Okay. Building yeah. that marketing and, and getting your name out there is, is Key. Branding. Um, Myrna Hargrove did the, does the T-shirts, and they all have the sparkly crystals on it. Do the military diamond connection in one of the sparkly Ooh. crystal shirts. Uh, um, and as you're walking around, hey, what's the military diamond connection? Well, let me tell you. Here's the card. <laughs> you become your own billboard. Find a couple other folks willing to wear your shirts for you. Yeah, I give you a free shirt if you're willing to wear it. You had you had your hand up for a while. Yeah. Uh, so I was going to get two points on your shop page. You know, part part of what you've told us is that <laughs> you know, your benefit is that you're providing you know, the same quality, if not even better, quality and service for a much lower price, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. But if I'm shopping on your your shop, I'm a young military guy shopping for my first ever diamond engagement ring. I would like to see an apples to apples comparison of all right. So if I get this kind of diamond ring, this size carrot. Yes. What am I going to, you know, if I have $5,000 yes. and I went to K Jewelers, can I get it for, you know, $3,000 from you? You know, put that apples apples comparison of okay. here's the difference if you're going to say, if you go through us, you know, we go, we, we can cut out the overhead <coughs> middleman and kind of what you know, stance you're going to take on that verbiage. Now I can see, ooh, yeah, there's a big savings here. Maybe it means I can upgrade and, you know, I can shop based on. Uh, you know, my price range and the savings that I can get from you. <coughs> and secondly, as a uh, you know, networking idea, is have you gone around to local wedding shops and you know, because you know, a lot of brides are going to come and get their dresses from nearby, right? You know, right. once on post, we're going to go to shops nearby, even you know, uh, men's shops, you know, because the guys are going to be there to get their tuxedos. Right. So, you know, just having maybe a slight referral source where maybe they'll let you just put a, a small sign up like military looking for an engagement ring. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. One of the things that I think uh, had not been mentioned yet, but it sort of piggybacks off what several people have mentioned. We have information um, here. You may use some traditional advertising. You may use social media. But one of the things that uh, is not glaring um, and probably needs to be more is to tell the customer 
or potential customer, what is the next step? What do you want them to do? If you want them to go to the site, then you need to have your, your website posted in your information. Uh, instead of saying contact us immediately, you have a contact button. Um, uh, contact us at, and then have wherever that is linked right there. So they don't have to search for it. They can be right in the, in the moment and go to where you want them to go. If it's a matter of, um, of getting a quote or something, then get your quote at such and such. Um, listing what you want the customer to do next is critical to marketing success. Again, whether it's traditional media or social media it makes no difference. Thank you. Fine. Do you take like other people's links? One of my friends just texted me and she's been talking about getting their actual like wedding man started but she doesn't have one yet and so do you take other people's rings and like can find like the actual like she has an engagement ring but she wants her wedding ring now so yeah we do do we do do bands as well and we can we can match the bands um, and we we have also offered it's kind of a, a different upgrade um, someone had a, a smaller diamond <coughs> engagement ring and they wanted to get a bigger engagement ring for their wife um, we we don't take back the diamonds, but we can go and match the ring if they wanted to make the original ring to make studs or something like that, and then can also get the upgrade. Um, but we we ha we do do wedding bands for men and women. As and well. then, do you also do like a warranty, like a warranty plan? So for the custom jewelry, we can return the diamond within seven days, but all the custom work, um, you, you can't get a full refund, but you can get some money back. Um, but it's, it's only been a seven day um, exchange or return, and that's why we prefer to sell the GIA certifi or certified diamonds, because that's kind of your warranty, so you, you know what you're getting. Um, and insurance companies, also like that and nine times out of ten when our customers have insured it it ends up being valued for a lot more than what they paid for it yeah. have you contacted outside sources like wedding wire I know that um, we, we run an event facility and we just this past year went with wedding wire it's not inexpensive so if you've got a marketing budget you might, you might want to look at that because if they can connect you through wedding wire. Um, I know that I would have been very attracted by what you offer. And um, all the all the brides seem to be going to wedding wire and other services like that to find their cards, their invitations, mm -hmm. their save the date, and all, all the other things and event venues. So you may look into that just as a an option. They may sponsor you. Because in marketing, I can go, I can pass my business card to every single person in here, and the number of people that are going to call me is most likely zero. But if I get business cards from them, then I have the option of touching back base with them. And it may be as simple as an email that says, "Hey, it was so good to see you at One Million Cups. Thanks so much." Keeping yourself in front of them. Oh yeah, I remember talking to that lady. She was really nice. She's the diamond lady. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and so it may be just the value of dropping an email every once in a while, um, letting them, sending, well, Cindy was talking about the education thing, sending out pieces that um, talk about the education side of diamonds, and hey, didn't know if you knew, you know, this was a, an interesting piece talking about the cut of diamonds, da, da, da. this was an interesting piece talking about clarity. So, not bombarding once a month, you know, just every once in a while, drop it an email so that I may not be ready to get married today, but in six months, a year, whenever, 
and you slowly sent me an email every once in a while, I go, hey, there's that lady. Right. So that name capture is huge because then it gives you the tools to be able to reach out when half are going to lose the card, half are going to go, eh, trash it, half are going to really mean to call, but life's going to get in the way. Right. I want to piggyback on what the gentleman <laughs> said. So I have a question for you. So if I ask you, what's your hook, what's your niche, could you answer that? And he had a great idea. What is my business case for coming to you, new person? I got Jared at the mall and a ton of other stores. Why would I risk my $5,000? I keep going back to these 5 yeah. no, you right. Why would I come to you instead of going to a more reputable person? Mm -hmm. Give me the business case mm -hmm. and what is your hook? What is your niche? <clears throat> okay, so I guess I'll start with the hook and, and niche first. Um, I would say that we're personalized. Um, we offer a better product for less, and it's customized. Okay. So that I get what I would say is our niche. So customization and, and price point, mm -hmm. would you say, is our is our hook and our niche? Yes. Okay. And then the the business thing. case, and that could be your business case why you should come to me instead of going to Jared's or. It saves your time. Yeah, and it's yeah. We we we're, we're your personal shopper. You don't have to. We would recommend you kind of going out to see what's there so that when we do talk to you, you can see, but like you said, already putting that on the website so you, you already have that. Emphasize yeah. that because people will want to know I'm saving time, it's to my own liking, and the price. So you have, that's the hook, that's my niche, that's why I want you, that's why I would come to you instead of going to Jerry. I think it's a, that right there is, is nectar, it's, it's meat. But let's be careful here because we want you to educate us through uh, the Pinterest, through emails, whatever. You don't want to send me out to see what else is out there. You don't want to, <laughs> you want to educate me so I already know when yes. I come to you that I like this cut, you know, and I like this yeah. setting. And, and that can be part of how you, like uh, Lori just said, keep in front of me. Okay. Yeah. And that way I, you know, I remember you when I'm ready to buy, but you've also taught me what I like and what I don't like. Because women are, you know, are very peculiar about what they like and what they don't like. But do you think, I guess the women in the room, do you think that if you haven't tried something on, you would still know what you like? So you might put, pin a, a picture up, but if yes, you haven't seen you know, how it I sit here and I look at her ring, you know, and I'm going, oh, and, and, and we do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my and husband, my husband we don't like it. We my do husband, that. My husband brought my ring without me ever seeing it. Granted, I'm not wearing it right now. Guess it's falling. Um, <laughs> love my little quaila. But, um, yeah, he brought both my engagement ring and my wedding band without me ever seeing it. How and courageous. it was like... Yes. Literally completely <laughs> different than what I had had on Pinterest, and literally when I saw it, I fell in love with it. So like, sometimes yeah, it works out to where like he went and just did it all on his own, and I had no idea. But I absolutely love it and wouldn't trade it for the world. But unfortunately, that's more of an exception. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, look at this! I showed you what I like. Yeah. And, and the it's because it's five thousand dollars that you yes, don't want to. Yes, the average risk. smart guy is going to ask, "Hey, what do you like?" So I can have some idea what to buy instead of surprising you. Be like, Ugh. So the other thing I was just thinking about is your services would be very valuable if I'm deployed somewhere else around We're the world with the guy now, and, and yes. my, my significant other is somewhere different. Yes. So if I am somewhere around the world, the value of knowing yeah. that I have another soldier who has walked in my boots, mm -hmm. who knows where I am and what I'm doing that's got my back and is helping me with this decision, not financially, that is a big thing too. Yeah. Because if they're wherever, and some places have more access than others, of course you know, they can't run down to the local mall <laughs> <laughs> and, and check out, oh, let's see what they have at the, at the local whatever jewelry. <laughs> so that's a that's a demographic that's, um, I don't know if, if there's a way to, um, to, to send a care package to soldiers that have just a, a candy bar with, <laughs> with your business card on, I, I don't know. 
but there's got to be some way that you can. FRG. Yeah. FRG. And I like Rise It because I like the name of your business because it's kind of catchy, kind of <laughs> mystery kind of thing. Reminds me of some you know old movies and stuff. So the more times you put your name out there, branding. Okay. Can, can you differentiate between synthetic diamond and natural diamond? With the naked eye, most people probably couldn't. Um, I haven't looked at a synthetic diamond, so I can't tell you if I could. Um, but if you look under, um, let's escape me. Microscope. Microscope. Uh, yes, you can. See, simple eyeglass, you can't tell any difference. Um, the average consumer, no. The, but the specialist in the industry, I, I'm sure See, they can. The same diamond, if you go to five dollars, everybody putting different price on it and different quality. Yeah, so, it, so if you put two diamonds next to each other um, and they're a better quality and a, a, a less good quality, you can you could probably see the, the beauty of the diamond would be more obvious. But if they're, they're not next to each other and it's clean and everything, a diamond is still a diamond. It's still, it's still a beautiful yeah. stone. It's shiny. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, natural diamond and synthetic diamond Chemically, both exactly the same. It's only different in their angle, carbon-carbon joint. So, out of five, four dwellers can't even tell. Oh, wow. They got the special things and we've been cheated. Mm -hmm. Here about some, and out of five diamonds per one carat, one was fake, not fake, man-made. Okay, that may be the only physical difference, but I'm telling you, a woman's mind, there's a heck of a lot more difference. <laughs> <laughs> and that is marketing. It is marketing and branding. But I've never been asked that question. That's a, a good something to look into about the synthetic diamonds. Yeah, so. Unless you go to reputable dwellers, you have good chances of jumping you. And again, that's why we prefer the certified diamonds, because that covers our backs as well. Um, because these guys have been in the business for 20, 30 years, um, selling millions of diamonds. And um, they were nice enough to, when we proposed the idea to them, said, yeah, we'll help you. Um, and we're happy to do it on a one-to-one -one basis. So, And I had one more question, um, kind of back to the floor with something that you had come up. A lot of the suggestions were to go to kind of after-the-fact venues, like wedding stores, tux places, um, which I am, I think is a good idea and I want to look into, but what about kind of before, normally th these places are once you're engaged, um, so what about before the fact, yeah? There may be opportunities to advertise through military specific companies like USAA or uh, there might be ways to advertise through Amazon, I've never looked into, okay. into that. Yeah, and actually USA used to sell diamonds. Um, I believe they stopped now, and I'm not sure why. But there might be, yeah, there might still be a way to Connect get yourself them. into that pool of connection. That was kind of my thought with the FRG group, mm -hmm. because at those mandatory fun days, everybody has to be there. Okay. Um, and then that way you're, you're hitting folks that um, will be in all different stages, exactly. whether it's you know, my husband and I will be married 20 years next year, and you, there's opportunity there, or whether it's a newlywed, or whether, you know, my oldest daughter was born in April, that's how I know this, and for her 16th birthday, we went shopping to find her some kind of piece that was a real diamond, and we settled on a necklace because, you know, she was 16. But um, in, in a large demographic like that, you're gonna get more opportunity base. Okay. We're running out of time, but I always take the last question. What can this community do to help you? Um, you guys have been great so far, and I think, I guess, the biggest one now is that if you meet someone who is searching or is in the, in the market for a diamond, please don't hesitate to refer us. Um, like us on Facebook, and that would be... Cards. Cards. Yes. And I'll, I'll give out my business card now. Thank yes. you. Thank you so much.